What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video was actually a video requested by one of you guys. Um, today I'm going to be doing my top 10 favorite G35s. Now this one is actually pretty difficult because there are a lot of G35s out there. So I kind of just picked 10 that really stand out to me. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing. But before we jump into it, guys, if you guys enjoy this video, please make sure to hit that thumbs up. And if you want to see future videos like this, leave a comment down below and let me know. Hit that subscribe button while you're there, guys. Bell notification, a lot of good stuff to come. Uh, before we jump into this as well, a quick update on my G35. Um, she's still down. And that's all I got for you. <laughs> so uh, let's go ahead, guys, and jump into today's video. All right, so this is in no particular order at all. Um, I kind of just screenshot it and um, we're just gonna just say them in the, the order that they're in. All right, so my first one, I'm sure you all know who he is, DQ101 on Instagram. This guy's build, guys, is just super, super unique. Um, one big reason why I love his car is because I remember going to, um, oh, I forgot the name of it, but we were at Tuner, was it Tuner Revolution at the Anaheim Convention Center? Uh, we were there for a show and I actually saw this car in person and I was like, oh my God, this thing is beautiful. It was so crazy. Just so much custom just stuff done to it. it really stood out for me and I have a video of it when I filmed it I told you guys I'm going to get a G35 watch and I swear to god it was like I don't even know maybe a month or two or something later I got a G35 which is the one that you guys see one thing that really stood out to me was just the uh, the wide body kit that he has it's very different um, I'm not a hundred percent sure if I'm right on this, but it looks like it's a G37 full wide body. Um, super well done. The rear is actually, he has over fenders and then on that, a wide body. It's like wide body on wide body. Who's done that? Nobody that I'm aware of at least. Uh, the wheels, absolutely amazing. Everything is just so well done. All right, so moving on to the next. This one is wild. I've actually seen this in person as well and we've also filmed it. And this thing too, is just so different. Um, it's just, it's completely different from the rest. But up with next, we have TMT Smart, Smas, TMT S Masterpiece. Um, yeah, I guess that's what it is, but you guys will see it right here on the screen. Um, his car is just insane. Everything is just custom with this as well. I believe the front bumper is fully custom. The white body is fully custom. Everything is just custom. And as you guys know, that's what I love and that's what I'm trying to accomplish with mine. Um, but it is insane, guys, with the, and, it, and it's paint, not, not, not wrapped. Um, super, super, I don't know what to say about this car, honestly, other than it's just, it's so clean. You don't see anything else like it, so that's why he's definitely in my top 10. Um, wheel setup, everything is just so crazy with this guy's car, so definitely uh, in the top 10. Up next, you all know who he is, G35 Panda. Um, he's actually, if you're watching this dude, um, he's actually one of the first guys with the G35 that I was talking to before I even got a G35, just for advice, where to get some parts, what parts he had, and so on and so forth, which uh, is pretty cool, because now I ended up getting the car, um, building it up, bagging it, doing everything that I did, and actually joined the same team as him. I am no longer part of it anymore, but I support him for his VQs, of course. Um, but yeah, dude, um, what to say about his, just very unique as well. I love the style he has, and it just keeps changing from the wrap design, the wheels, just, it's absolutely wild, dude. So, mad props to him. Very different, very, very clean. Doesn't, it's not white body, but that's okay. Um, it just, don't know what else to say other than super, super clean, super clean build. 
next we have Eddie, also known as E Maya 805. You guys all, I'm sure, know of him as well. Um, his build also, again, just so clean. Wheel setup, super clean. Um, and of course, if you guys already seen my one of my previous videos of what to expect in 2021. Uh, we're going to be doing a G37 front conversion, and that's what he has. And this thing, guys, is so freaking baller, dude. From the color of his wrap, the wheel setup, bag, aired out, um, freaking the front end is just insane, dude. It's so clean. Everything about his as well, super, super nice. Custom G37 fenders. He has the um, R34 style. Uh, fenders, which is what I'm pretty sure they're called, the R34 style fenders. Super, super baller, dude. Super badass. Uh, so definitely in my top 10. Um, he's the first person I saw do it, the G37 front end, and he's now doing it for other people as well. So that's why I said in my video when I made it that it's definitely um, not going to be a one of one thing that I'm doing. Definitely not different. More and more people are definitely starting to do it. Um, but yeah, he's definitely the one that I first saw and really wanted to um, step up my game and kind of get on the same page. Um, Alright, so up next, <clears throat> we have, uh, sorry if I'm saying the names wrong as well, but uh, Ken Marcano. Um, <laughs> same thing, God, it's just so clean, very different. Um, R34 style fenders, fiberglass, or I'm sorry, not fiberglass, carbon, carbon hood. Um, I think what really drew me or draws me to his car is the uh, color of it. I don't know if it's a wrap or if it's paint, to be honest, I'm not 100% sure. Um, but it's the color of his car and the wheels. Oh my god, the white with like the bronze lip. <sighs> it's just such a good look. Alright guys, up next is actually somebody that I'm hoping to um, meet up with soon. He's actually pretty local to me um, and we've, we've been talking but, you know, it's been super busy kind of so it's, it's hard to meet up. But K35 underscore G35, super unique car. Um, when I first got my G35, I remember giving him a follow and I, to be 110% honest, I was like, do I like this? Because it was so different and the color scheme and the wheels coloring and just everything that he has as you can see in the picture, it was just very different. Um, but it really, really grew on me and um, I love his build. Dude. It's just, it's unique, it's very different, it's, it's original, um, it's definitely uh, top 10 for sure, super, super clean and I cannot wait, hopefully we can meet up soon and definitely get him um, up in the box because I would love to see this thing. It's just, it's just clean. I, don't, I really like those side skirts too. I want those side skirts, but I believe they are fiberglass. If I don't, I'm kind of scared to run fiberglass again, to be honest. But um, really love those side skirts, and I have been considering uh, getting them. Up next, we have a underscore to the underscore thirteen x. Um, <clears throat> Alright, up next we have A underscore to the underscore I three X. Um, his build, guys, it's you know, it's just, it's so different. I don't know really what it is on it. Well, I think it's his rear wheel fitment setup that he has. It's freaking insane. It's static. Um, that I'm aware of. I'm pretty certain he's static. Um, nothing super flashy about it, but there's just also something that really, really pops to me. And I think it's his wheel fitment setup, especially in the rear. Um, and I like that. I love when people are different. Um, so that's why he's getting a top 10 for me. It's just, I don't see anybody else really with that type of setup. Um, and I love that. It's, it's super, super wild. Very crazy. And I'm pretty certain he is static, which just 
Ugh, I remember my static days, no more. <laughs> All right, so up next is somebody who I put a friend request on and has still not approved me, so um, it is what it is. Still a top 10, but RocketFab underscore A. Um, I remember seeing this car when I first got my G35 and I was seriously wondering like, what is it that's different? I, I couldn't pinpoint what it was, but I knew something was different. And it turns out actually, um, so the flare, he has actually rear like fender flares, rear white body, whatever you want to call it. It's extended, um, but it looks factory. So I was really confused and just staring at it for the longest, but um, yeah, super, super clean, just very different. I love how he made it look factory in the rear, but it is wider. The wheel setup, I love it. I love the white on white. I've always been a super fan of that. The fender vents, um, love that. Clean as hell, engine bay. Um, yeah, I mean, just overall, it just looks like a beast. It's very different. I don't really see very yet many other people kind of with this style. Next, I'm not gonna lie to you, <clears throat> um, after talking to him and getting to know him and um, just really he's been kind of recently helping me with um, getting some good information on how to convert my front end to a G37 um, and just more and more I look at his car the more it becomes my absolute favorite G35 out there right now. Um, so we'll put it right here on the screen. G35 Ill Class. Oh my God. Goals for sure. This thing is freaking, just, I don't even know what to say about it. It's just so mint. Um, the engine bay and the attention to detail. The G37 front conversion, of course. Um, <clears throat> wheels, interior, trunk setup, everything is just, a freaking one dude it is insane super really really cool dude I'm hoping to get to know him more if you're watching this I'm sure you are really hope to get to know you more man and one day hopefully you can definitely see this thing in person I know we're not global but who knows maybe we can make something happen in the future um, dude definitely I love the front bumper on it with the G37 the headlight choice black on black um, it's just Oh my god, I don't even know what else to say about it. It's just, yeah, the 110% my favorite G35 out there for sure. One day, I hope to get onto that level. Whew, yeah, definitely. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much what I have for you. Leave a comment down below which one was your guys' favorite, or if you guys have a favorite G35 and they have an Instagram, drop it down below in the comments as well. I would really love to see it. <clears throat> and maybe we can do, um, maybe we can like do a judging or top 10 of my subscribers' G35s. Comment and let me know what you guys think about that. Hit that subscribe button if that sounds good to you. And of course, hit that thumbs up. It really does help your boy out a lot. 4K subscribers, here we come. It's getting really close. We're about 160 away and we have, we have what is that, about a week and a half-ish to hit that. It's gonna be pretty tough, but I think we can get close. Uh, but anyways, guys, I hope to catch you all in the next one. Until next time, guys, as always, peace out.